Hi everybody. I hope uh, you guys are having a great day. This is Darlene with Featherweight Doctor. I am releasing a free pattern for download on our website, featherweightdoctor.com. It'll be under the blog section uh, for the bed extension covers. A couple of days ago, I did a live for how to pack your machine for travel and these um, bed extension covers came up. What they're used for is slipping over your bed extension so that way when the machine is in storage, uh, or on, in under transit, your faceplate knob doesn't rub or ding or dent your bed extension cover. So I like to use pre-quilted fabric. We do sell these already constructed on our website um, in purple and red and black. But if you want to make one at home, maybe with, I don't know, Saucy Singer Featherweight fabric, that would be pretty awesome. But these, in the pattern, it talks about using pre-quilted fabric. I just get these at the big box stores. So this is the finished product. You need one seven and a half inch cut salvage to salvage of fabric to make a complete bed extension cover set. One is going to be for your foot controller pocket. So it sits on the bed of your sewing machine. And then this is to actually slide over your bed extension to protect it from the faceplate screw. So this is what the finished product looks like. In the pattern, I have you cut two seven and a half by 15 and a half inch rectangles and two two inch by five inch rectangles out of the pre-quilted fabric. So here's your two, two by five inch rectangles. And then you have two seven and a half by 15 and a half inch rectangles. Again, you can get all these pieces out of one cut of fabric. So it's a really good use of efficiency for fabric. Um, the first thing I'm gonna have you do in the pattern is take one of the seven and a half by 15 and a half inch rectangles and surge all the way around all four sides. And then I have you do the same for the two by five inch rectangles, surge all the way around. And then for the second seven and a half by 15 and a half inch rectangles, I have you just surge the two short sides. The last step in this is going to be to make that pocket for your foot controller. So I'm gonna put two sides together and I'm gonna surge down first the right side and then the left side with both of them at the same time. I, I don't have a fancy serger, this was a gift from someone their mom had passed and it was just sitting there collecting dust. I don't know how to use a serger very well, but I know it does a nice clean job of finishing um, edges. So all I'm gonna do is run one side first. And then the other side. So now your foot controller bag is done. So you have a nice little pocket. Everything is finished. This is where your foot controller goes when your machine's under transit. So the last piece is to construct the actual bed extension cover. I'm going to switch here from my serger to my feather weight. Ooh. I've got my little yellow featherweight and I'm going to use my cone thing. Let me just make sure that she's sewing. Okay. For this next part, you're going to take your rectangle running the long way and you're going to line one of the two by fives up on the right upper right hand corner like this. And then all you're going to do is start, well, first you're going to find your controller okay so all I'm gonna do is run kind of in the center of the of the surge seam down to about the corner Ooh. okay I'm gonna stop needle down I'm going to pick my presser foot up pull my two by five and, and sew down the two inch side. Stopping again at the corner. Okay, let me read this. There we go, like that. 
pulling this out. Now I've got one side done, so let me go to the next side. Starting on the inside of the foot of the bed extension cover again, line this up to the upper left and basically do the same thing, probably reverse here. Okay. All right, just to the corner, ending needle down. Press your foot up, pull this forward. Okay, down, pulling this forward like so. All right, there we go. That is how you make a bed extension cover. Go ahead, if you like these types of videos, and subscribe to our channel on, on YouTube under Featherweight Doctor. You can also like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram. If you have any other questions that you'd like me to address on one of these educational videos, then go ahead and email us at info at Thank you for joining me this afternoon.